With the North Korea still an enigma to most of the world, it's intriguing to see different interpretations of characters and settings through fantastic K-dramas that offer viewers a lens into a land unknown. Here are the 10 fantastic Korean dramas that feature North Korea. Number 1. Crash Landing on You Topping our list of the South Korean dramas that feature North Korea is Crash Landing on You. In this K-drama, Sun Mi Jin plays a South Korean heiress named Yoon Siri who crash lands her paraglider in North Korea. A North Korean army officer played by Hyun Bin finds her, and the two develop an unlikely romance despite geopolitical challenges. Crash Landing on You offers the most in-depth look at North Korea out of any K-drama. Most of the drama scenes occur in North Korea, and we get to see not only Pyongyang but also the countryside. The drama shows mundane aspects of North Korean life and is not only entertaining but quite educational about inter-Korean relations. Number 2. Descendants of the Sun if you didn't know already, Descendants of the Sun is one of the most popular K-dramas of all time. It reached a peak audience share of 38.8% and captivated audiences all across Asia. While most of Descendants of the Sun doesn't feature North Koreans, we're putting it on the list because North Koreans show up at very critical plot points. In fact, the show's very first scene features the two male leads, South Korean special operations soldiers played by Song Jong-ki and Jin Gu, fighting against North Korean soldiers while rescuing the two soldiers taken as hostage by North Korean military. Number 3. Snowdrop The premiere of the 2021 K-drama Snowdrop had caused some controversy as it warped the facts of South Korean history during the democratic movement. Set in 1987, the K-drama initially included a love story between a female college student played by our beloved Unni Kim Jisoo and a North Korean spy Lim Suho played by Jung Ha who is mistaken by Un Young Ro to be a protester. She and her friends help heal his wounds and keep him hidden from the government. But the K-drama storyline takes a turn when Suho's true identity is revealed. Snowdrop is available to stream on Disney Plus in selective regions. Number 4. Doctor Stranger Doctor Stranger is one of the most recognized medical K-dramas involving a North-South Korea storyline. In 2014, Lee Jong-suk starred as the leading character Park Hoon, who as a child with his father, was tricked into moving to North Korea must adapt to a new country, he becomes a genius cardiothoracic surgeon. In North Korea, he falls in love with Song Jae-hee, and after Hoon's father passes away, they plan to escape to South Korea. While escaping, he loses touch with Jae-hee and started working as a doctor in a hospital. At the hospital, he meets a young woman who is an exact copy of Jae-hee, but she claims to have no idea who he is. Number 5. Money Heist Korea Director Kim Hong Sun and writer Ryu Yong Jae reimagined the popular Spanish series La Casa de Papel in a setting where there is a joint security area located where today's North and South Korea are divided, which contains a mint that becomes the focus of the action. With the reunification of the two Koreas comes the printing of a new unified currency. This presents the perfect opportunity for a crew of thieves to band together to accomplish a revolutionary heist. Number 6. Steel Rain Steel Rain is an action thriller film based on the 2011 webtoon of the same name. Starring Jung Woo Sung and Kwak Doo Won, the film follows a North Korean agent dubbed Number One who escapes south with the country's injured leader in an attempt to keep him alive and prevent a Korean war amid a coup. While operatives from the North go on a hunt for both of them, the agent has to work with South Koreans in a bid to stop the nuclear war. Number 7. The King Two Hearts 
The drama reimagines South Korea as a monarchy ruled by descendants from the Joseon dynasty. In an effort to build friendly relations with North Korea, Crown Prince Lee Jaha, played by Lee Sung Jai, was sent to a joint military collaboration where he meets Kim Hang Ah, played by Hye Ju Won, the daughter of a high ranking military official. Despite their initial antagonism towards each other, the two eventually strike a friendship and become engaged. Trouble starts when an assassination challenges Jaha and Hang Ah to choose between love and loyalty. While the drama uses politics as its main vehicle to move the story along, it still succeeds in showing a side to romance that is still human and raw. Think Romeo and Juliet, but with guns and crazy magicians instead. Number 8. City Hunter Betrayal, politics, spies, and a forbidden romance. City Hunter checks all of these with its complicated but thrilling plot that will keep you hooked until the last episode. Lee Min-ho played the character Lee Yoon-sung, who is a Blue House employee secretly trained by his foster father to exact revenge on high-ranking soldiers who betrayed him during a mission in North Korea. Despite Yoon-sung being set on his goal, he gets tested a couple of times after he falls for Kim Nana, played by Park Min-young, a loyal bodyguard who is also working for the Blue House. Killing moments and thrilling scenes aside, City Hunter also does a good job in reversing the usual narrative between North and South Korea by showing that sometimes the real enemies are the ones we least expect to be. Number 9. Blow Breeze This 40-episode long drama shows the most realistic, if not ugly, part of being an escapee from North Korea. Lim ji yeon plays a defector from North Korea who, after spending time in Macau, meets Lee Jang-gu, played by Sun ho Jun, a boy from the South. The two get separated before meeting again in South Korea where they get entangled in a major family inheritance drama. Blow Breeze tackles the harsh realities of leaving the North and the hardships of trying to build a new life in South Korea as a normal citizen. Though the story centers around the relationship between Mai Pung and Jang Gu, the drama serves big helpings of family drama as well. Number 10, Iris. This one's an oldie but a goodie. Inspired by the 1999 film Shiri, Iris set the record for one of the most successful South Korean dramas about North Korea after it racked up massive viewing shares during its time of airing. In the series, Lee Byung-hun plays Kim Hyun-jun, a South Korean soldier who was scouted by Kim Tae-hee for the National Security Service. Hyun-jun tries to exact revenge from his former best friend while managing his complicated relationship with Sing hee and trying to stop Iris, a secret society trying to stop the unification of North and South Korea. Which of these dramas are you going to watch next? Let us know in comment section and don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends.